Oh, hey, I wanted to try a new project. One of my hobbies is that I like to go shooting. <laughs> and I thought it'd be really cool to have a magazine that counts how many bullets that you have inside of it. I always think about like different video games and stuff like that and how they have like indicators for how many bullets are left inside of a magazine. I always thought those looked super cool and I kind of wanted to try something similar. They sell magazines that have some bullet counters in them, but they're just not quite what I like had in mind, you know? And so I just wanted to try like a, my own custom thing. So yeah, I'll just kind of code something up, probably an Arduino, um, throw on some OLED screens, slap all that on the AR-15 magazine and kind of see how it goes. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. I'm gonna have my AR-15 magazine over here, and then my OLED screen over here is gonna be in the red, and then all the electronics and stuff and the battery are gonna be on the bottom. And I think I'll have an OLED screen on either side, so that way you can see the ammunition count from both sides of the magazine. And then the electronics just kinda of go on the bottom. I'm thinking to start, we can uh, get some electronics going. Okay, so the electronics are pretty much wrapped up. I have some old code that I've been working on, so I'll just kind of pull that up, freshen it up a little bit, and then we'll kind of throw that inside the Arduino. Okay, so here's a finished prototype circuit. It's all running off of this rechargeable lithium ion battery right now. Over here are the two screens that will display the bullet count for the magazine. Over here is the soft potentiometer. So this is a thing that actually senses where the bullets are in the magazine. You can see it's soft and flexible which allows it to conform to the curvature of the magazine. And then as I press on different parts, you can see the bullet count change. Okay, so I freshened up the code a little bit. The next thing I wanna work on is getting some CAD models created. So I need to make CAD models of the magazine and of all the components, and then find a good layout for all of them. And then after that, I'll 3D print the parts that need to be 3D printed, and then we'll be on to assembly. Okay, so I'm using Fusion 360, and whenever I'm doing projects like this, I just like to model every component, even though they're store-bought, I'm not making them. I just like to model everything. Uh, that way I know exactly how big everything is when I do my layout. And I just threw them on my 3D printer real quick, and I printed them out in black PETG. The magazine needed a little bit of work, so here I'm just kind of filing down the bottom. I had these little prongs that held on the original floor of the magazine, so I had to remove those. There's also some bumps on the inside of the magazine from when it was welded together. And so I just took a file and some sandpaper and removed those because I thought they would interfere with the sensor. To attach the 3D printed parts, I just roughed up the surface a little bit with some sandpaper and then attached it using some five minute epoxy. And that seemed to work pretty good. As soon as the plastic parts of the magazine were ready to go, I just jumped right into the final electronics assembly. And that was probably one of the harder parts of this project was just trying to make everything as small as possible. So I was just trying to make all of the wires as short as possible. I was just trying to make that bottom base of the magazine as small as possible. On the first iteration of the base, I actually got a little bit too ambitious and I kind of ran out of room for like a wiring harness that comes down from the screens and I had to reprint it a little bit taller uh, by about a quarter inch. And after that, I had plenty of room. So this is the follower. This is the actual piece of plastic that pushes the bullets upward. You can see that I filed a channel inside of it. This channel is for the linear soft potentiometer, which is this strip of plastic. This is what sends the analog signal back to the Arduino to let it know where the follower is in the magazine. And by extension, how many bullets are left. Okay, so I just turned this on for the first time and it totally works. So one thing, if you notice, the counter is actually like counting the wrong direction. So it's counting from high to low. So we need to go from low to high and that will just be changing that in the code. So that won't be too bad. So another thing is you might see the screen flickering, but that's just in the camera. So in real life, it looks totally fine and it's nice and solid. That looks really good. So all I gotta do now is just kind of tidy up the electronics and put them all in. And to just kind of explain what's going on, um, there's a battery at the bottom, that's what this guy is down there. Over here at the knife tip is a battery management board, so that's actually what's controlling the charge and discharge of the LiPo battery. There's a charging port on the bottom, just right there. I need to put the board back in position, but that's a USB-C port right there, so you can just plug it into a USB-C and it will charge it. Um, right here, kind of hidden underneath the Nano, 
this guy right here. That's a voltage boost circuit, and that takes the 3.7 volts from the battery and it boosts it up to 12 volts. So that's what the Arduino Nano actually runs on, is 12 volts. So the Nano, I originally had a five volt boost circuit, so from 3.7 to five, but it turns out, I forgot to check that the Arduino Nano actually runs on six to 20 volts. I was really lucky because a lot of the 12 volt boost circuits are really big, but this is actually like a micro size 12 volt boost circuit. So it's really nice that they make them that small. You also notice that it normally doesn't come like this, the boost circuit. I just put a piece of heat shrink around it just to protect it because it had a lot of open bits on it. So I just didn't want any of those shorting out on wiring as I stuffed it all back in there. So it's kind of protected. This white wire, this is is the analog signal from the soft potentiometer up in the front and that's just going to analog A1 and you can see the soft pot right here is this blue piece of plastic and then the black and the red those are the power to the sensors that's your ground and your VCC that's 5 volts and yeah that's pretty much about it pretty simple so all I'm going to do now is kind of go back into our, the Arduino IDE and dial in the screen and yeah so we'll see how that goes Okay, so I modified the parts of the code that kind of deal with how many bullets are in the magazine. Now I just had to reprint some screen covers, kind of put that back together and we should be good to go. Okay, so I got the magazine assembled, it's all ready to go, wired up. And the only thing to do now, I guess, is to go and try it out. So the magazine worked pretty good. I was actually pretty surprised at how well it worked. There are a couple things that need to be dialed in. I think you saw the number flickering on the screen. I think I just need to remap the bullets a little bit better. So that kind of needs to be tuned a little bit. And yeah, I think that's the only things that I would change about this magazine. Um, and that's pretty much about it. And thanks for sticking around this long and hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.